My name is Tina. I was an EBS in Latvia for 12 months. I'm Gert, 25 year Estonian. And I was an EBS volunteer in Armenia, Kumri, for half a year. My name is Gert. I went to do my EBS in Russia for nine months. My name is Trin. I am uh, 22 years old and I went to Georgia for one year. My project was about uh, introducing European Union, uh, also EVS itself, Youth in Action Programme. Um, also Estonia, I was introducing Estonia to Latvians, even though it's like neighbouring country, we don't have any connections. Um, yeah, also I taught uh, some Estonian. I gave photographic classes for children in uh, Riga's Estonian school, even though all the pupils are uh, still Latvians, but that was very, very cool. We went all over Latvia to different schools, so I saw all Latvia. Uh, half of the time was just in buses. To start with, uh, actually it was like five, six years ago when I first heard about EVS and I thought this is a cool thing, but I didn't feel that I'm ready. And after being active in the student organization, traveling around Europe, I felt I need time off uh, to rethink what I've experienced and think about what I want to do. I was looking for an organization. Uh, projects and soon enough I found one which happened to be in Armenia. I think going to um, less developed countries it's a bigger challenge for yourself and, and more interesting experience. It really served the purpose. I, I think I learned a lot about myself, uh, what I went there to look for. Uh, I think I was in a way a different person there and, uh, and, and I kind of liked it. The hard part is now uh, putting myself into similar situation here. So that's, that's my new challenge here, how to, how to go back in Estonia, like doing the things that I did there. I have a few tips for you if you're thinking about going to do EBS. First of all, whatever time it is, one month to 12 months, it will go by faster than you expect. Start really actively from the first day. So be active. Uh, Make your own projects, make your own ideas happen. Uh, I also went to Nagarna Karabakh to a small village called Kert, which is my name. If that is not finding yourself, then I don't know what it is. So I was working in, uh, in uh, one really special school. It was school for deaf children. But in the school there was professional theatre and so it was like a wonderland for me. They were doing really great theatre and, uh, and I could watch all this. And uh, my task there was uh, play with children and it was really amazing because I don't uh, speak Russian sign language. So it was really interesting to try to find a way to communicate with them. Then uh, I was uh, teaching English in, uh, in the camps, in two camps. Then I was also, some days I was uh, like uh, playing in a cancer hospital with children. We work with orphanage children and uh, before we went there, they were just uh, like, they were wasting their time basically. So we had to find things that they were interested in to do, to teach them, also to teach them English and just I mean, to be their friend, to be somebody they trust. I mean, that wasn't really our project, but I found that this was more in my heart to do this, like to work with little children. And that's like one of the reasons that now, I, I went to do EVS for like this very typical reason that I didn't know what to do with my life. So I just decided that I want to do EVS to figure myself out. I like music all the time, I like music. And just I figured out during this one year that I want to I want to become a music teacher. So now I'm actually studying this. Before I I was kind of clueless about everything. So now I'm just I mean I feel like I'm somehow like when I face some sort of a situation then I just 
I know what to do.